on the bed. I'm gonna crack one more out here. Nice deep in here. Exhale, let's start up on our backs for this one. I'm still coming all the way down to your back. Take the soles of the feet down to the back, to the floor. I don't have a block right now, but you can always take your hands underneath you or you can take a block and prop yourself in a restorative bridge pose. Starting off from a space of gratitude. We give gratitude to the universe and to this earth. A deep breathing of wisdom and knowledge and love. A space that we're reminded that we live within a place of abundance rather than a place of scarcity. We give gratitude to the indigenous peoples of these lands, the Northern Cheyenne and the Crow, the Salish and the Blackfoot tribes here in Billings. We give gratitude for this practice of yoga as it reminds us that we as human beings are innately good. We are kind and honest, generous and just. We give gratitude to the black and brown people, the original creators and sustainers of this practice. We give gratitude to our bodies and to ourselves, our own ancestors and our own lineage, acknowledging their and our own trials and triumphs tribulations and transgressions and holding ourselves responsible for how we choose to repair and restore from damages that have been done while we have built a peaceful and loving world for seven generations and beyond. And if there's a person or persons, place or places that you'd like to dedicate your practice to today, you can take the time to do so now. Next deep inhale. And exhale. Then slowly like open your eyes. If your hands are underneath you, um, keep them there. You can kind of create a little like triangle with the index fingers and the thumbs. Index fingers pointing down, so like the long part of the isosceles triangle. Thumbs kind of the base that are sitting at your sacrum. And you're just gonna rock back and forth side to side, just kind of massaging out through the low back and sacrum space, just being mindful obviously of your thumbs and the joints and the fingers. Take the soles high to the sky and then slowly start to lower the legs down towards the earth and then inhale, lift them high. We go for four, for three, for two, and one. Release the hands, flex the toes in towards the face, pulse up to the feet for eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand outside of right foot, right hand outside of left for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulse back up to the toes, big inhale. Exhale, put a bend in the knees and hands come back behind the head, right elbow to left knee. Right leg extends, left elbow to right. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Don't worry about that popping sound, that's just my lower back. <laughs> Soles of the feet come down to the earth, fingertips reach for the back sides of the heels. Pop your heart and chest up and drag your hips high to the sky. And then slowly lower down. Keep yourself on the balls of your feet. So lifting and lowering for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift high. Lower down through the heels and then lift up high for eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Big inhale. Exhale, lower down. Extend through that left leg and lock your fingers in the front part of your right shin. Pull your right knee in towards your right armpit. Do a couple of circles. 
counterclockwise first to start and then clockwise keep the right hand to the left leg and then right hand or left hand to the right leg and then right hand comes long and wide turn and stack turn and look and out your right finger past your right fingertips we're getting into the twist here exhale two more big breaths big inhale and exhale one more time big inhale exhale slowly move yourself back to your center line extend your right leg high to the sky and slowly extend that leg all the way down to the end of the mat same thing with that left leg pull it into the chest and lock your fingers in the front part of that left shin do a few circles here for three two and one and then take it back that opposite way for three two and one and then right hand to the outside of the left knee left hand long and wide turn and look up past your shoulders stack that left hip on your right flex through both of your feet big inhale exhale hold one more time big inhale exhale slowly bring yourself back to your center line extend your left leg high to the sky flex the toes in towards the face and then slowly extend that leg all the way down to the end of the mat pull both feet high to the sky and pop here we go for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 hands can be down to the sides or out last three last two and one and then do a little rock and roll on your spine and then bring yourself all the way up to stand at the top of your mat. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, dive down and over. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, plank. Step back, back into your plank. Right knee to right elbow, kick it back and high, put a bend in it. Round and pull your right elbow to your right tricep and then step it back. Left knee to left elbow. Kick it back, put a bend in it, stack, and then drive your left knee to your left tricep, step it back. One more time each side, right knee to right elbow. Kick it back and high, stack. Pull your right knee to your right tricep, step it back. Left knee to left, kick it high, bend and step. Pull that left knee to left tricep, step it back, shift it forward lower and lift exhale drop to the knees send the hips back into child's pose crawl your fingertips out in front of you bring your hands into prayer pull the hands back behind the head third eye presses down to the earth one more time big inhale exhale palm the mat shift yourself forward and then take your hips back in high down dog Nice deep inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale, drive the hips back and high. Exhale, tiptoe your feet up to meet your hands, top of the mat. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back. Exhale, down and over. And then inhale, sweep yourself high to the sky. Exhale, tense it open. Close it up to your center line. We're flowing through time on this one. And then inhale, arms sweep high again. Exhale, dive down and over the tops of the thighs. Inhale, hands to shins. Exhale, palms plant, step it back. Big inhale here. This time, right knee, left elbow. Kick it out. You know where we're going. Kicking. So modify it fallen to go floating more here. One more time, each side. Last set. Press back through the heels, shift forward. We lower and lift. Big inhale. Exhale, roll over the big toes simultaneously. Bend your hips back and high. Pedal it out. Drop down to your knees. 
walk your knees up towards your wrists, bring your knees together to touch. Separate your heels, take your sit bones down in between um, your heels, and then you're slowly going to walk your hands back, bringing you into a fixed firm. Crown of the head moments down towards the earth as you pop your chest up and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Creating a little mini back bend here. If this is too much on the knees, take the knees lighter, but try not to make sure that they try to make sure that they do not come up off the mat. Big inhale here. Exhale. Two more big breaths. Big inhale. And exhale. Last one, big inhale. Exhale slowly, come out of it. One elbow at a time. Shift and move your legs out in front of you and then come out into the wide. So legs come nice and wide here. Big inhale. Shift and move your seat back behind you. Walk your fingertips out in front of you first. Pulling over the tops of the hips. Grip onto your mat or to the floor in front of you. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Two more big breaths, big inhale. And exhale. One more time, big inhale. And then exhale, slowly walk your hands over towards the top of that left thigh, turn your heart and torso towards it. You can always take that right hand to the outside of the left foot, turn yourself in towards it a little bit more, big inhale. Exhale, hold. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk yourself through your center line. Same thing on that opposite side. Left hand can come to the outside of your right foot. Turn your heart and chest in towards it. And then slowly walk yourself back to your center line. Lengthen. Pull yourself down and over as you drop down through your elbows. Crown of the head pulls towards the wall in front of you. You're rotating over the tops of the hips. Big inhale here. You can cross the elbows and maybe even rest your forehead on your forearms. Holding here. One more time, big inhale. Exhale, slowly walk your hands back towards you. Take your hands up underneath your knees and shimmy your knees up. Soles of the feet come together to touch. Pull the heart and chest forward towards the arches of the feet. Crown of the head moves down. Big inhale here. Exhale, hold. Nice deep inhale. And exhale. Last time, big inhale. And then exhale slowly, back yourself all the way out of it. Hands come to the outsides of the knees, pull them up. Take the legs out in front of you, flex your feet. Back in towards you, scoot your seat back behind you, arms come high, and then exhale, wheel to yourself down and over the tops of the thighs. Pull the crown of the head towards the top of the feet. Relax and release through your sit bones. Stay with your breath here, big inhale, and exhale, two more big breaths, big inhale, and exhale, last time big inhale, and then exhale, slowly walk your hands back up, your shins, scoot your seat forward, offer yourself all the way down to the earth. Pull the knees into the chest immediately. Give yourself a nice big hug. Back of the head comes down to the mat. Shifting back and forth side to side, massaging out through your low back and spine. And then take the soles of the feet high to the sky. Flex the toes back in towards the face. And then slowly let the legs move all the way down to the end of the mat. Engage your glutes on the descent. Squeeze and then release. Let the toes flop out to the side. 
Palms come down to the side, coming into your Shavasana. If there's any final postures or movements that you feel like you would like to take from your own volition, um, please be encouraged to do so. So hard for us. Coming into this next week. Again, take it for what it is to you. It might be a grain of salt. It might be the whole goddamn ocean. <laughs> Go here. Channeling. I feel like we've had this one recently, but let's come back to it. Experience your stream of consciousness. You have the ability to tune into different streams of consciousness to gain wise information for healing and expansion. Channeling shifts your awareness so you can stream information from various frequencies. It's like tuning into a radio station. If the information doesn't agree with you, tune into something different. You can't expect to hear rock music on a classical music station. With practice, you'll be able to tune into your soul's transmissions easily. You focus a part of your stream of consciousness upon the earth plane to experience life in new and varied ways. Your soul loves you so much. It's always transmitting this love and truth, even when you've forgotten. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. more big inhale and exhale the divine light the divine feminine and the divine masculine and the divine loving me sees honors and reflects the divine light the divine feminine the divine masculine and the divine loving me dear Jane the collectively and all of us thank you for sharing your practice with me today and all days and for trusting me with your body, heart, spirit, and soul. To that, when you leave your mat, be sure to go in peace. And remember to serve love always. Thanks so much, darling. I'll see you soon.